Hi students, this question is from gate 2020 exam and is from the topic of K-way set associative cash mapping. It's for two marks. Let me read out the statement. A computer system with a word length of 32 bits has a 16 MB byte addressable main memory and a 64 KB four way set associative cache memory with a block size of 256 bytes. Consider the following four physical addresses represented in hexadecimal notation. Just have a look at these addresses. Then the question is which of the following is true? They are saying option A is A1 and A3 are mapped in the same set. Similarly, there are these four options. So we actually need to find out which address is mapped onto which cache set. Okay. So I have noted down the information given in the question. According to question, main memory is 16 MB. So the address required to fetch a word from main memory will be of 24 bits, okay. The physical address will be 24 bit because 16 is 2 raised to the power 4 and m is 2 raised to the power 20. So 20 plus 4, 24. Also, 256 bytes is the block size. So this one is log 256, which comes out to be 8. Okay, one more thing. I think the first line in the question was a bit confusing one. I just forgot to discuss it earlier. Yeah, so the first line reads, a computer system with a word length of 32 bits has a 16 MB byte addressable main memory. Now, in first line they are saying 32 bits is the word length. That means 32 by 8, which is 4, 4 bytes. So first line says word length is 4 bytes. Then in second line they are saying has a 16 MB byte addressable main memory. Here they are saying it's byte addressable. That means one word is equal to one byte. So what are you going to assume? Is it one word is equal to one byte or one word is equal to four bytes? Look, we are going to work with one word is equal to one byte because here we are talking in terms of hardware with respect to hardware or with respect to the memory chip. One word is equal to one byte. That means every word rather every byte in the memory has address, but our system is using word length of 32 bits. That means if CPU wants some word, it will generate address. Then for fetching the next word, CPU will not generate the next address. It will rather skip four addresses, okay? Because here CPU assumes one word of four bytes, okay? Now let's just solve our question. So you know, in case of K-way set associative mapping, we divide physical address into three parts. Block offset, set number, and tag. Block offset is used to identify one word from a block. So a block has 256 bytes. And also this is a byte addressable memory. That means eight bits are required to identify one byte from 256 bytes. So block offset is 8. Now how many sets will be there in the cache? Let's find it out. Cache is 64 KB, 4-way set associative. 64 KB. And block size is 256 B. So how many blocks will be there in the cache? or more specifically, I must say, how many lines will be there in the cache? Number of cache lines.
it will be 64 KB divided by 256 B. 64 KB divided by 256 B. B and B will get cancelled. 64 K means 2 raised to the power 16. 256 B means 2 raised to the power 8. So this comes out to be 2 raised to the power 8. That means we have 256 lines in cache. Also it is a 4 way set associative memory. So how many sets will be there in cache? Number of sets in cache will be number of lines total number of lines in cache which is 2 raised to the power 8 divided by number of lines in one set. Number of lines in one set is 4. So 2 raised to the power 8 divided by 4. What is this? It is number of sets in cache. It will be total cache size in lines divided by number of lines in one set. This is 2 raised to the power 8. Look, this is this doesn't have a unit. It is just counting or say it's number of lines. 2 raised to the power 8 lines. And these will be number of sets by 4. So this comes out to be 2 raised to the power 6 sets. Okay. Which means this field will be of 6 bits. Okay. So I am writing 6 here. Now you know how many bits will be left. So these are 6 plus 8 is 14. 24 minus 14. It's 10. So there are 10 bits in the tag field. Okay. Now you are given four addresses in that question. Just have a look at these four addresses. Each address has six hexadecimal digits. So let's analyze the first address. See each address is having six hexadecimal digits. Let me just draw a small diagram. So these are the six addresses, sorry, six hexadecimal digits in some address. Okay. So till here, these four bits, these four bits plus two bits from the third digit will form tag because they are now 10 bits. Okay. That means third digit along with the fourth digits, these two bits and these four bits. This part will be the set or set number. Okay. And the following digits will be block offset. So what I'm trying to say to identify a set number from any address, you require this bit this bit and this bit okay that means second and third bits are required not bits second and third digits are required for knowing the set number one more thing second digit will be split into four binary bits okay out of those four only last two bits will be used because the first 10 bits are Tag. So they will be skipped. They also take away these two bits of the second digit. So let me just copy those addresses. So these are the four addresses that you are given in the question. Now you see. These two digits determine the set number as we have seen here, the middle six bits. Just uh, remove the starting 10 bits and ending 8 bits. So these two are going to determine the uh, 
सेट नंबर लेट मी जस्ट राइट दीज टू बिट्स इन बाइनरी फॉर्म सो एड्रेस नंबर वन इज सी एट सी इज आई गेस ट्वेल्व इन बाइनरी ट्वेल्व मीन्स वन वन जीरो जीरो एंड एट इज वन जीरो 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 देन वी हैव सिक्सटी एट सिक्स इज जीरो वन वन जीरो एंड एट इज वन ट्रिपल जीरो देन वी हैव ट्वेंटी एट दिस बिकम जीरो जीरो वन जीरो एंड ट्वेंटी एट इज सॉरी एट इज वन ट्रिपल जीरो देन वी हैव फोर्टी एट ओके सो दीज आर द फोर एड्रेसेज इन बाइनरी now you note the first two bits can be discarded because these two bits we have already seen will be a part of tag okay i am just erasing the first two bits now what we have here is are exactly those six bits which are required which are uh, the set number so set number for address 1 is 001000 okay similarly you can see uh, all the four set numbers now it's evident that these two addresses 2 and address sorry address 2 and address 3 will be falling on the same set in the cache okay so answer is address 2 and address 3 have the same set number is it there in the options yeah so option b is a2 and a3 are mapped to the same cache set so option b must be correct here anyways uh, after recording this video i'll be recording this lecture again where i'll not be solving this part i'll be just calculating this thing that means how the address is being split by some other method okay we'll use the concept of groups here if you have studied uh, this lecture theory lectures from me i insist that you watch that method also or you just try to calculate it by yourself you use the concept of groups here it's a wonderful concept that will really help you in solving such questions okay hi so as promised earlier i'm going to solve this question the other way okay so earlier we found out block offset first then we found out number of bits in set or the set field then we found out tag bits so method for finding tag bits was we are subtracting this much from 24 so we are left with 10 bits but now what we are doing is we will be finding tag uh, number of bits in tag field first and i want that you really understand this method because this will give you a very good understanding of this topic of cache mapping now uh, if you haven't watched my lecture on this topic theory lecture it's available for free on youtube please watch it first i've recorded this uh, concept in a great detail please watch it first then you uh, just come back to this video so i introduced you to this terminology of group ram is divided into groups a ram is actually imagined to be divided into groups okay cache is divided into sets that is a well known fact but this group is something that only i use maybe there's some other teacher who's using this but i haven't seen anyone or any book using this terminology group uh, this word just i use it for myself anyways the thing is tag identifies a group from ram now we need to find how many groups are there total number of groups if we somehow get to know it we'll be able to find this tag bits now you see first of all let's find out how many lines are there in ram or how many blocks are there in ram these words are used interchangeably so 
सो टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ मेन मेमोरी इज सिक्सटीन एम बी एंड वन ब्लॉक इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स बाइट्स सो वी कैन से नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स इन रैम इज सिक्सटीन एम बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू फिफ्टी सिक्स बी दिस कम्स आउट टू बी टू रेज टू दी पार ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू रेज टू दी पार एट विच इज टू रेज टू दी पार सिक्सटीन ओके ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस एट सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स वी हैव अ टोटल ऑफ टू रेज टू दी पार सिक्सटीन ब्लॉक्स इन मेन मेमरी ओके नाउ द नंबर ऑफ ब्लॉक्स इन वन ग्रुप दैट मीन्स दीज ब्लॉक्स इन वन ग्रुप दे विल बी इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ सेट्स से दीज आर द सेट्स दिस इज अ सेट यू नो वन सेट विल कंटेन फोर लाइन ओनली वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड सो ऑन ओके वन सेट विल कंटेन फोर लाइन फ्रॉम हेयर वी फाउंड आउट दैट टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेट्स वर सिक्सटी फोर ओके you know there are 64 sets in ram and now i am telling you that number of lines in one group is equal to total number of sets that means one group will contain 64 lines that's the reason this first line of first group rather first line of any group will be mapped on to the first set okay like this Similarly, the second line will be mapped on to the second set. So on, sixty-fourth line will be mapped on to the sixty-fourth set. That's how things are working. Within a set, it can go in any of the four lines. Okay, I've already discussed it in that video. Anyways, let's move ahead. Total number of lines are two raised to the power sixteen. A total number of blocks in RAM are two raised to the power sixteen. So number of groups. in ram number of groups in ram will be 2 raised to the power 16 divided by 64 how is uh, how i am writing this look this is total number of blocks in ram and 64 is blocks in one group so dividing these two you will get total number of groups okay So this is two raised to the power sixteen by two raised to the power six. Sixty four is two raised to the power six. So we are left with two raised to the power ten. This is your answer. That means there are one zero two four groups in RAM. So this is first group, second group, third group, and so on. We have one zero two four groups. Each group has sixty four blocks. Okay. Now. Two raised to the power ten or one zero two four groups means a ten bit address is required to address one of these groups. So this is how we get ten. Earlier we just subtracted fourteen from twenty four to get ten. Now even though we have calculated this set field before calculating the tag field, but still we haven't subtracted to just get this ten. We actually derived ten. this is the number of bits and tag field okay so i hope you understood a lot of things from this video and i also hope to see you in the next video